Merry Christmas! Do you need a little gift idea? Today we are gonna teach you how to make a tassel diffuser. This is a natural diffuser using macrame. It's super <laughs> simple and fun to make. It makes a great Christmas gift. And you can hang it anywhere. Let's show them how to make it. Grab your December Simply Earth recipe box and pull out your tassel diffuser recipe card, your mini macrame kits, and to scent our ornament, we are going to use Vanilla Woods, our new essential oil blend that smells like walking in a wood full of vanilla. And Bay Essential Oil, which kind of has an herbal smell, which makes a really interesting contrast with the Vanilla Woods that you're gonna like. And from your home, you're gonna wanna grab a ruler, a scissors, and a hairbrush. So let's show them how to make it. To start, we're gonna prepare our macrame rope by cutting it into specific sizes. We need one 14 inch piece and four seven inch pieces. And from your little bag, you'll need a ring bead and a little round bead. We're only going to use one kind of knot for this tassel diffuser and it's called a cow hitch knot. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold our long piece in half. We're going to stick it through our ring bead so that it looks like this. I've got the folded end over here and I've got my two loose ends on this side. I'm gonna pull my two loose ends through there. This is the string we're going to hang our ornament from. And then the other smaller ones are gonna dangle on the bottom and they're gonna look cute. So now we're going to put our bead on the top. And this can be a little bit of a challenge if you're having a hard time getting both ropes through the bead. Put a little piece of scotch tape on the end and then you'll be able to pull it through much more easily. All right, so then now for the bottom part, you're gonna do the exact same process for every single string. So we've got those four individual knots on the bottom, and you can quick check to see if your knots are facing the same way or not. Now that you have the bead on the top done, you're gonna to wanna to fray the bottoms. And you can use a comb or a brush for this. An ideal macrame brush has wire bristles that are really close together making it really easy. <laughs> and last but not least, we're gonna add some essential oils to scent the air because wood acts as a natural diffuser. Keep in mind that this essential oil in particular will stain the bead on the top. Um, so if you don't want your bead to get stained, maybe just use the Bay essential oil. That's because this blend has some natural pigments to it and it's going to turn our bead brown, which you can see on this other example. So if you wouldn't like that, just don't add essential oils to it. For this one, we're gonna do two drops of vanilla woods and one drop of bay essential oil. You can let the oil absorb into the wood a little bit so it doesn't drip down. And then we can hang it from wherever we like, from a tree or from a car mirror. Sky's the limit. You can also make this macrame and give it to somebody as a gift. For more great recipes using essential oils, go to simplyearth.com slash box. Thanks for watching. And to scent our ornament, we are going to use Vanilla Woods, our new essential oil blend that smells like walking in a wood full of vanilla.